Welcome to Madison City Channel's Know Your Candidates interviews, co-sponsored by the League of Women Voters of Dane County. In your, I'm your interviewer, Louise Robbins, and I would like to introduce Mary Ann Nicholson, running for Dane County Executive. As we begin, please tell our viewers a bit about how your educational, vocational, and civic experience has prepared you for the position and why you decided to run for the executive position. I currently have a bachelor's degree in accounting. I work for KSW Construction as their controller. I have worked with budgeting and um, work strongly in accounting. So I feel that this will help me tremendously in uh, being the next Dane County executive. Um, I also, um, I have some background in, in um, office work and with people, getting people um, in different positions, helping them out, uh, getting them trained. I've done a lot of that. I think I'm a really good people person. I like to be the bridge in Dane County. Civically, I, I work in our church. I've helped out with food drives. I also participate in a lot of the fundraising in running events, triathlons, um, different things like that. Thank you. Sheriff Dave Mahoney has announced his retirement. What are the primary assets you think a new sheriff should have? What are the major challenges facing a new sheriff? Um, I would like to see a sheriff that is open-minded to change. I don't wanna defund the police, but I think that we need to look at different ways to help our officers out on the street to make sure that they can complete their jobs with the myriad of calls that they have, um, also give them support. I think that the police chief should be able to uh, sit down and talk with the community leaders in, minor in the minority sections of town, um, just making sure that he can cross the bridges that he needs to cross. I wanna be the facilitator to do that. I wanna bring all the groups together and let's work out and get a way so that we can all have Madison be like it used to be where we could all sit down and have a conversation and we could start building a block of how we can get our communities to, to work together. Thank you. There are several proposals to improve Dane County's criminal justice system, including a triage and restoration center persons experiencing a mental health or drug crisis. What changes do you envision for our justice system? And what is the county executive's role in assuring the success of any reforms? I think that the county executive needs to be the facilitator. Um, I would like to see reforms done in the criminal justice system. Um, there's, there's a lot of different things out there that we can use rather than put people in jail. There are a lot of ways that we can get into the community and start helping right at the high school level, start getting kids into, into programs where they can excel and where they can find things that they like to do and get them more to inside um, finding themselves and finding ways that they can put their energies to other things and be community leaders. I think that also community policing, I really think is a very important part. I think an officer should be a part of his or her community so that the kids get comfortable talking to them about issues. And that would also help them bridge the gap knowing that the police and uh, are their friends. When I was brought up, that's how it was. The police officer was my friend. If I was in trouble or I needed help, I knew that I could go to him. And I think that that's something that has been lost um, the criminal justice system, I'm willing to work with the DA, I'm willing to work with anybody to go through and start looking at ways that we can just make our, our whole community safe and yet make sure that we are not incarcerating people that do not need to be incarcerated. Thank you. There are many COVID-19 related challenges facing the county. What are some of those and what is the role of the county executive in meeting them? Well, I think the two roles that I see that are um, most important during this COVID um, experience that we've had is schools. That's my first one. We need to reopen the schools by 2021 safely. We need to 
work on getting our kids academically and socially on the same playing level as other communities or other school districts around us. We need to also look at making sure that, that we keep making sure that the schools have a way or, or uh, a place to go to make sure that what they're doing is correct and help them. I wanna facilitate that and go to different school districts, get their plans, see what they've done. We need to get our kids back into the extracurriculars that they love. And we shouldn't be driving outside of Dane County to have our kids participate in those sports. The second thing is small business. Small business needs to open. We are losing our small business leaders and our in our communities. Um, the, these, these small businesses are make up like a lot in our communities. 64% of the US jobs annually are created by these people. And they have been Un, they have been really impacted by this COVID. So what I would suggest is that we're gonna open them up and do that using the CDC guidelines. We all are masking, we're all doing the six foot distancing. I think they need to be on that same level playing field as the big box stores. And we need to make sure that they have the tools to get back and get back into production and get back into doing what we want them to do and be there in our communities. Thank you. Dane County has been working toward environmental sustainability for several years. What, if any, additional proposals would you like to advance? I just think that the our environment is very, very important. We have great trails. We have great lakes. We need to protect those items because for the simple reason, these are attractions for our residents. They're also attractions for people coming from outside of the city and outside the state. This is one of Madison's biggest draws are the lakes and they're clean, they're, they're good for our fishermen. So I will make sure that the, these lakes stay clean, that we have clean air, that we have clean water. Our residents deserve that. What are your budget priorities for your term as executive? How will you address them? Well, our budget, I think, is going to first be need to be looked at because of the COVID shutdowns. We don't have the revenues that, that we normally would have. So we're going to have to take a strong look at how we're going to make up for those revenues. We might have to cut down on government a little bit. We might have to look at programs. Um, the big thing is, is our roads and our infrastructure are, have some serious con issues. There's some roads out here in the country and bridges out here in the country that need to be looked at. We're paying a $28 wheel tax. That money should be earmarked for, for road improvement. Um, I think that that's very, very important. Other than that, I mean, we just need to come out of COVID and find our bearings and then move forward. What would you like to say to the viewing audience as we complete this interview? I'm Mary Ann and I have lived in this county for 40 years and I believe in the entire county. When I was out getting my signatures, it's really sad that people out in the outer areas in the rural and urban areas of Dane County, they don't believe that they have a voice. And I want to be everyone's voice. I want to be the open door to come and talk. I want to be the person that listens and listens and gets things done. I want to be the bridge builder between the minority community and, and I want to be everything to everybody. And I think that that's one thing, that's one reason why I ran was because I think there is a lot of people out there that just feel that they have no more they don't have a voice anymore. And I feel that it is important that they do have a voice. I want to thank Mary Ann Nicholson for speaking with us and the viewing audience for taking the time to know your candidates. As with every election, please vote. On behalf of Madison City Channel and the League of Women Voters of Dane County, I thank you for joining us.